Hello, sorry about that. If you popped in for a hot second, I went in and came out because I realized I had my phone turned the wrong way. Oh, and that drives me batty. I don't want you guys to have to be looking sideways. So I came out and I'm coming back in again. We're going to do our two fun projects tonight for Chalk Couture. Cannot wait. Let me just get this iPad going and um, we'll dive right in because we've got two projects. I'm not going to try to take up your whole night with these projects but we'll try to do them super quick and make them super cute so if you are there hello hello if you are watching on replay hello to you so we are working with oh I saw a thumbs up and I don't know who's on so if you're on type a comment so I can say hi um, so this was actually cute little um, Target dollar spot three bucks little cute um, stocking that I got and last night I primed this which I literally just put a light coat of white paint on there and that was it hello Johnny so I'm gonna do the um, the hound's tooth pattern and if you are um, also someone who watches my sister-in-law and also my upline she actually did this project the other night and I was like oh, we had the same exact idea in mind so did you did I see did you do a stocking Johnny darn it I missed it I'm going to have to go look for it when I get done. Did you do the hound's tooth? I th and I, it's so funny that she and I both kind of had the same thought and we didn't even talk about it at all. I just caught her live the other night and I'm like, oh, I was going to do the same thing. So all that I'm going to do is do kind of match this up to the bottom down here. So I'm just trying to match up my line right here because I want to leave this part blank, not blank, but hello, Meg. Two of them, oh, with the kids' names, I love that. That is so awesome, Johnny, I love that. You know what, maybe I could do one for my son, because my son is home from Syracuse. He's home for Thanksgiving. I could make him a cute little stocking for his room up in Syracuse, that would be fun. All right, so all that I am doing is putting my transfer down. This is the houndstooth transfer pattern. I labeled the back with the word back on here so I know that this is the paper side and this is the shiny side. So the sticky side of the reusable silk screen transfer will return to here once I am done and I have cleaned it. Um, and that is why we label the back. And now that I have my transfer on here, and typically I would fuzz my transfer, which is to just take a good evening Meg is just to take a towel or put it on my pants to I'm basically just putting lint on the back of the sticky so it doesn't stick quite so hard to my surface but I've used this transfer quite a bit and I am using it on wood tonight so I'm not terribly concerned about it sticking so hard that I can't get it off I think I'm gonna be good so I am going to just take my squeegee and try to get any bubbles because this does have a pretty decent sized silk screen area. Sometimes it is kind of hard to see the bubbles. So I like to just use my, my large angled squeegee just to get any of those bumps. And you can hear it. It kind of sounds like Rice Krispies when you're pulling it over the, um, the surface. So we're just trying to make sure that we're not hearing any Rice crispy sounds. So then, easy peasy, I have my, oh, my, my sad chalk paste that's almost gone. Um, I do have a backup right here just in case I don't have enough, but this should be plenty for this project. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and just, oh, I got a chalk boogie. Let me get that off of there. Um, just take a big scoop of this. And I'm going to just plop it right down in the middle. This should be plenty for this. I shouldn't even need that backup. But I figured since I'm going live, better to be safe than sorry. You can see how easily, look, this just slides right down across the transfer. I'm just applying a little pressure. I think the hardest part of Chalk Couture is just learning how to use the squeegee. And that is pretty easy. So if that's the hardest part, you're in good shape. No worries. Look, all that excess I'm putting right back in. So I had the backup black chalk paste just in case, and I don't think I'm going to need it. Because I'm going to be able to just squeegee all this excess right on down. Uh, actually, I lied. Maybe I'm going to need to put a little bit more back on here. If I could speak, that would help too, right? Uh, 
I think my brain's going faster than my mouth will, will go. So my words are coming out jumbled. Okay, I'm just taking this all the way down to the bottom of the stocking, making sure that I have everything covered. Looks pretty good to me. And this is drying super fast. Oh, did I, I missed a whole section over here of my stocking. How did I miss that? Let me get in here and get that. Okay, now we are good. Everything is covered. I feel like all my excess is off. That is drying so fast in here tonight. I wonder if it's the heat. Oh, I, I made a mess. I have it all over my fingers, but not to worry. It will come off with water. No worries. Oh, that started drying. But you know what? I'm not too sad about that because I think it looks pretty vintagey. And you know what I might do? This is a happy little accident tonight, which I'm kind of happy about. That's why I called it a happy accident. Because I, when I first started doing this, I was like, I want this to kind of look very vintagey. Sorry, I'm just putting my fingers in my water pan over here so I can get this paste off. So this, here's my idea. This is gonna look really vintagey and distressed. It does here, which I love that. And then because this is a little darker down here, I'm gonna take some sandpaper to it to actually to the whole thing and really distress it. I think that's gonna look very vintagey and I'm gonna be happy with that. I'm calling this one a success. No worries, like I said, if you do get chalk paste on your fingers, just get a little bit of water on there, which, oh, I have my water thing packed. So let me dip my fingers back in my water pan and we'll get that chalk paste right off with water. No worries, it comes right off. Okay, so let me have this dry for just a quick sec, and then I'm going to sand it. I think I have my sand block right over in my drawer here. And you know what else? I forgot to wax. I didn't wax my wood tonight, and I usually do that. And I did it tonight for some reason. I think I was rushing. But again, I'm really happy with the distress look. So let me grab my sanding block. There it is. And I'm gonna just distress this a little bit down here. Let's see if that works. Oh, or I'm gonna smear it. But that's okay too. Because the chalk I don't think was completely dry. But I kind of like it. It looks very vintagey. And here's how we fix the boo boo. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Again, I'm using this block, and I think I said in one of my other lives that I will never use this again, and here I am using it again. But that looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks beat up and vintagey and distressed. Oh, that's pretty messy. Let me get some paper towels in here. And let's just give that a brush off. I'm even gonna put some of the black up here. I kinda like that. It really makes it look old. And then we can come in and I think I might actually, because I don't think, to put my son's name on there, I don't think it's actually going to fit. So what I might do, since I still do have a little bit of black chalk paste left in here, I think I might put a word up here. So let me grab that. Man, I made a mess with that. I got it all over the place. All right, let's grab, where are you? I want to grab this one transfer. This one, oh, everywhere. So maybe we could do believe, peace, or joy. How about believe right across the top there? What do we think of that? I kind of like that. I'm gonna go for black again too and make this a really vintagey. Now I have been using the crap out of this transfer because I've been making um, 30 something mugs with this transfer, so hopefully it's still gonna work for me. 
just making sure that there are no bubbles. So that way I can grab my squeegee and just make quick work with a little bit more. And you know what too, I think my chalk paste probably could have used a little touch of water. But that's okay, this is gonna be super fast, this one. Cause it's just one tiny word. So I'm just putting the chalk paste on there scraping off all of that excess that is all there is to it i'm putting my squeegee in my pan of water <gasps> oh i love it i absolutely absolutely love this it looks so vintagey i think i'm going to change out the ribbon i have black even though I do like the little pop of red, but I, I want to keep this kind of all black. And I do have some black ribbon, so I think I'm going to change that out. So that's one project tonight. I love it. I love how cute that came out. Very awesome. Okay, so that's one. And then here is the other project that I got. And this was another... Um, this one I think I actually got from AC Moore. That's where I got this one. And I, it was discounted big time. So I scooped two of them up and I did the same thing. I just put a light coating. I'm gonna try to get this in here cause it's rather large. Can you guys see that? I might have to lift my camera up a little bit. So hopefully I don't make you dizzy. Close your eyes for a half a sec if you're watching right now and keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. Okay, we are good. I just wanted to raise my camera up a little bit so we could get the whole shot in here. I'm going to try to make some room by sliding some things over. And then we will get right to this project, which I thought, and I think, it, I think it's going to fit. I kind of just eyeballed it real quick before I came on. Let me move Ancora out of the way for a hot second. We're going to put Ancora up here so she can be with us during our live. For you crafty talkers, you guys know what, who Ancora is. So, because this is definitely not going to fit together, what I was thinking was Merry and then Christmas. So let's see if we can get that to work. And again, oy, you can see just how loved this transfer is. Look at that. That tells you that this is an awesome transfer because I have used it so much. You can see all the staining on here, but again, no worries. Some of our chalk paste has darker pigments like our black and our red and our greens, and they are going to stain your transfer. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So long as your silk screen's clear, you are good to go. So let's say a little prayer that this baby is going to work for me tonight. And I'm going to just pull this as far over as I can. I want to make sure I can get my Y in here. I'm just going to do the Y. I'm trying to make sure I'm straight, too, because I am working. You know what? I have to move this iPad because it's not in a good spot. Let me just slide that over here so I can see if anybody is has any questions or anything. And then this way I can get this to go straight so I can see what the hey I'm doing tonight. Okay, so we have our Mary. I feel like that looks pretty good. And that should leave me plenty of room. I'm gonna keep trying to use this chalk paste. I'm using it until I have nothing left, but you know what? Before I do that though, I am gonna grab, because my water bottle is right over here. So let me grab my water bottle. And I'm going to give that just a quick little spritz. Oops, and there went my squeegee. I'm going to put a little spritz of water in here just to thin out this a little bit. Just because I feel like it may have been just a little too thick. And that's why I probably have problems with my other project. I'm kind of happy I have problems with it because I like the way it came out. So we're just going to thin this paste down a little bit. And like I said, I'm down to the very bottom. But I feel like that feels better. Okay. Alrighty, that's better. And I just made a mess with my squeegee. Okay, a little bit of chalk paste on here. Same as we always do. And I'm just covering Mary. And then I'm going to put Christmas across the bottom. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to work quick because, goodness, it's warm in this room tonight. 
It might be because I do have a big bulky heavy sweater on because it's a little chilly out there tonight. But it's not needed in the house where the heat is blasting. Okay, just working around the M. Now I can kind of pull that right across. I'm trying to work pretty quick. Just pulling down all that excess. And then just moving right on to each letter. Pretty quick work of it. I am really digging this black Christmas. I did the ornaments. I'll show you guys the ornaments I did. I did those off camera. Um, I'll show you those. They were super cute. But I love this theme this year. Okay. Feel like we got everything covered. Let's put that there. Take a quick peek. Yay! That's perfect. Perfect. All right, let me stick this here for a second right onto my desk. We will dry this off and then I can go to Christmas. That is perfect. That is quick drying. Okay. Now, hopefully, there should be enough room for me to get all of Christmas in here, if I measured this correctly. I'm going to take this right to the very edge here. Yes. Perfect. Fits perfectly. I can actually move this over just a scooch. And I think we are good. Let me make sure my S is on there. Let's see. Oops, I just dipped my finger right into the jack paste. We are perfect. All right, I'm just going to use my fingers to push this down, making sure I'm not feeling any bubbles. And then we can finish up chalking Christmas on here. And how stinking cute will this be? Let me just get this off my finger. I just put my finger right into the chalk paste. Okay, grab another paper towel, and we are almost done with tonight's project. Okay. Oh, I know why, because I have chalk paste on the back of my squeegee. That explains it. That explains why I've got chalk paste everywhere. Okay. Pull that straight across. Just trying not to hit any of the, um, the holly bushes up here. I just want the words on my little sled. Just applying pressure to pull that paste right on across. I don't need a lot of chalk paste. Okay. Pull that excess right over. We are almost done. And that was two super quick, vintagey looking Christmas projects for tonight. Get a little bit more. Finish up my H. And my C. And then we are done. How awesome. That should be it. Just make sure I got everything. I think I did. Oops, let me make sure I got the bottom of my ass. Okay, perfect. Now I do have more chalk paste all over the place. So let's see how this came out. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. So adorable. Let me stick this here. That is it. That is our two projects tonight. Our two vintagey. Christmassy black Christmas projects for tonight. So here they are. So we have our Merry Christmas on our cute long sled, and then we have our very distressed, believe 
stocking. How awesome are they? I really, really like those. Oh my goodness. My new favorites. Definitely my new favorites. All right, guys. That was my two projects for tonight. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I probably will not be back on tomorrow night um, or obviously Thursday. I will try my best to come on maybe Friday night. Um, but until then, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy with your friends and family. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.